Peruvians, it's Lopez with the new Who review, and this time it's Colony in Space. Colony in Space. Guys, guys, you want to pay attention over here? What's with the, what's with the color change? Okay, got it's fine. Get, are we going to do this or not? And this time it's Colony in Space. The Doctor and Joe are sent by the Time Lords to the planet Euxarius in the year 2472 to intercept the Master who has stolen info on the Doomsday weapon that's on the planet. Don't do that. Don't do that. that. Don't do that joke. That comes later. That's right, that's right. Terrence Dix is the script supervisor, and it was written by Malcolm Hulk, so, yeah, it's that's really funny. That was supposed to happen later, but I guess we could do it now. Euxarius is a planet in turmoil since the human colonists, the ruthless IMC, the Interplanetary Mining Corporation, and an indigenous race of green mystics who appear primitive are all claiming rights to it. Just as the skirmish between the colonists and the IMC starts heating up, the Master arrives, disguised as an adjudicator, showing great interest in the primitive city ruins. The Doctor must use every ounce of ingenuity to save the colony in space. That's, you know, just... This six-parter is not yet available on DVD or Netflix. I'm really sure this time. <laughs> I recommend this story because there is a lot to like. Some of the stuff is tedious, like uh, a lot of the constant back and forth that we've seen before, like, uh, aha, we got the drop on you. Well, double aha, now we have the drop on you. Uh, so, we shall sneak aboard your ship. Double so, now we shall sneak into your compound. But there is a lot of cool stuff to watch. Uh, the Time Lords have a conniving side to them as they send the Doctor to do their dirty work. Joe travels off Earth and realizes that the Doctor is exactly what he claims to be. Captain Dent is a standout played by Morris Perry. He is evil and cold, like a corporation. The primitives, at one point, uh, they raised their spears and both hands over their heads, and they even pumped them, and I instantly thought of the Sand People from Star Wars. Great miniature work. Uh, Venusian Karate shows up again. The Sonic Screwdriver makes an appearance. The he, the the Quato puppet in the toga made me laugh really hard, but I'm sure that was unintentionally funny. Some of the stuff I found that was odd or just strange... Um, the master has filing cabinets, like real metal filing cabinets. I, I didn't get that. That made me just kind of go, wow, that's weird. Uh, the, the mining ship received messages on a telex machine. You know, telex in the 25th century. Real to real tape is also shown. Real to real tape in the 25th century. And the last thing I'll pick at, the last thing I'll pick at, monster hands on the robot. Uh, monster hands. Uh, that's that's at the John Deere. You go past the snowplow and you get to the monster hands. And of course, the joke that's already been ruined for me. This is another Hulk and Dix. I didn't get the. Don't don't call me fat boy, new guy. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> don't call me biggin either. And who's OC? Chubbs. Chubbs, huh? So you need to hide. Oh, yeah. Chubbsy. <laughs> sure. I can hide you. Let me see here. Hold on. Ah. Here we go. Hey, have you ever seen a shrink ray? You tell me. <laughs> no. No, little man. Little, tiny. <laughs> that was very cool. This is uncool. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. 
Kill, kill, kill. Don't judge me.